And so the traveler went to the wise man. And he said, wise man, tell me, how are the people over there? The wise man says, why do you want to know that? The traveler says, because the people over here are not so good. He says, I don't like the people over here because they frustrate me. He says, my neighbors don't really fit in well. My boss asks too much. My subordinates don't do their work. I don't like the old government. I can't stand the new government. No, I don't like it over here. But I hear that people tell me it's better over there. So wise man, if you can tell me how are the people over there, then I can pack up and move. Why do you want to go there, says the wise man. To be happy, says the traveler. The wise man says, you're looking for the wrong, th for the wrong thing. What should I be looking for, says the traveler. The wise man says, you should be looking for enlightenment. What's that, asks the traveler. Enlightenment, says the wise man, is when what you have becomes what you want. In fact, enlightenment is when you want what you have. When you work here, because this is the place you want to work. When you live where you live, because that is where you want to live. I get it, said the traveler. Now what do I do? Well, says the wise man, there are three lessons for you to learn. And lesson number one starts here. Lesson number one is that wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> this is it, buddy. This is it. If you can't be happy here and seek enlightenment here, you're not going to find it over there. You see, the next relationship is going to be the same as this. Just give it time. The next job is going to be identical to this one after the honeymoon is over. I get it, said the traveler. Now what do I do? Well, you travel three days and three nights yonder. There you will find the second wise man and he will help you find your enlightenment. You will find him down in the valley by the river. Three days and three nights the traveler walks and there on the third day he finds the third wise man standing waist deep in the river. I seek my enlightenment, says the traveler. Step into the river with me, says the wise man. Wading in, standing next to the wise man, without a word, the wise man reaches out, takes him behind the scruff of the neck, pushes his head under the water, holds his head there while the traveler starts to gasp for air. He starts to swallow water, he starts to see stars before his eyes, thinking that he is about to drown at just the last moment. The wise man picks him up out of the water, he says, what did you seek when you were under the water? <laughs> Annoyed now and angry, the traveler thinks that this wise man is not that smart. <laughs> I seek air, he says. How much did you seek the air, asks the wise man. How much did you seek the air? I seeked air, a lot, he said. Thinking the traveler hasn't learned his lesson yet, the wise man reaches out, takes him behind the scruff of the neck, wants to push his head under the water again. But at the last moment, the traveler says, wait, I get it. I seeked air with my whole soul and with all of my being. That's lesson number two, says the wise man. He says, when you really want what you say you want enough, you will find it. But not before. You see, we talk a lot, you and I, don't we? We talk about the change we want. We talk about the life we want to live. We talk about the things we want to do. And then we talk and we talk. And then we talk and we talk. And we say that we need to change now, but we don't really mean it because we're sort of okay how it is now. And so we stay here. And I come today to say to you that change will happen when it hurts enough. When you are ready and when you want it enough, something will change. I get it, said the traveler. Now what do I do? Well, you travel three days and three nights yonder, says the wise man, there to the top of the mountain. The traveler wades out of the river, starts to walk, but the wise man calls him back. He says, not so fast. He stoops down. He picks up a bundle of logs puts the bundle of logs on his shoulder, he says to him, carry that to the top of the mountain and then you will become enlightened. Struggling and straining under the weight, three days and three nights, the traveler climbs his way to the top of the mountain. There at the top of the mountain, he finds the third wise man. What do you seek, says the wise man. I seek my enlightenment, says the traveler. Ah, says the wise man. Steps forward, takes the bundle of logs off his shoulder, puts it on the ground, says, how do you feel? He says, Phew. Enlightened. <laughs> it's 
lesson number three, says the wise man. Put it down. Whatever you're carrying, put it down. I don't know what the chip on your shoulder is about. I don't know who wronged you and who hurt you, and I don't know whether he's paying his alimony or not. And I don't know whether your boss is treating you right or not, and I don't know whether you really still have people to get back. And I don't know that the things that are making you unhappy really justify you living the life that you're living, but this I do know. If you put down some of the stuff that you are carrying, the load gets lighter. If you share your load, you can halve it. But when you share your blessings, you double them. So put down the stuff that is holding you back. Leave it here in this room today when you leave. Put down the load that is causing you not to be what it is that you can be. I get it, said the traveler. I get that my life is where it is because of the choices I made or the choices I failed to make. So I get that wherever I go, there I am, that this is it. I get it, says the traveler, that I need to really want what I say. I want that much that I'm willing to fight for it. And I get it that I have to put down the load that is holding me back and get over the stuff that I think are excuses for not living the life I could be living. Thanks, says the traveler, and he starts walking into his new life. Not so fast, says the wise man. This is the bonus section coming up. <laughs> the wise man stoops down, picks up a bundle of logs. He says to him, carry that. The traveler, thinking it was the same bundle of logs, loads up the bundle of logs, starts walking, and over his shoulder looks back at the wise man. He says, but hang on, this load is heavier. The wise man says, yeah, that's how it works. When we learn to put down what we've put down, life will present you with new challenges. Because school is never out. There is never a time that you know everything you need to know for the journey ahead, and this is always a learning process. But in order to learn the new stuff, you have to sign off on the old stuff. And that only happens when you put down the stuff that has been holding you back until now. My wish for you, get it that this is where you are. Make this place work. Get it that you need, really need to clarify what it is that you want and that you have to put down the stuff that is holding you back and get on with it. So good luck. I'll see you on the other side.